Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started so we'll start with the dixie on the weekly time frame and as you see a lots of uncertainty down here uh, since the dollar reached this level we do have um, many uh, spinning top candles especially the latest two weeks as you see here so been spike up spike down spike up spine down not much is happening uh, forming some kind of bottom here on the daily time frame and on last last thursday when we've got this uh, nice bullish uh, engulfing here with the close above previous high i was thinking and telling my traders in our trading room that we might look for retest of this broken neckline here and then further upside but as you see uh, friday um, and uh, after the nfp release uh, we've got um, dollar weakness and uh, it ended up with a bearish day but even though even though we've got a bearish day we still have a higher low here uh, still though no uh, real continuation to the upside so it is a little bit uh, still a little bit uncertain and we need to keep in mind that next week on thursday we have super thursday where we have monetary policy statement and uh, ecb press conference also uh, at the same time of the conference we have the cpi from the us so that could also uh, give us a little bit of a direction so all in all uh, i still think this area down here could be a potential uh, support level and as far as there is no break below these previous lows uh, the dollar might still continue to the upside i do like the way it looked we have a nice rounded bottom here and since we had this break to the upside no break lower yet we might still see further upside but you need to be careful because the momentum here looking good good momentum but no break of structure yet on the dollar so the 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 situation is wait and see a little bit more to get a little bit more confirmations on the dollar checking on gold we uh, see that we had this uh, correction to the downside checking the daily time frame We've been talking about uh, as far as this uh, trend line is holding, we uh, could still look for uh, buying uh, gold at around this area to look for further upside. So a retest of this broken structure and the trend line. As far as uh, that is uh, no, there is no break below the trend line, that still could be the case. But we also need to keep in mind that this range now got broken. We could be in a retest and one more leg down here. So in my opinion, uh, 1850, will be a key area for next week um, if it holds as um, support we might see further upside but if they break below that we should be looking for another continuation toward 1800 on uh, this market oil still bullish and looking good checking the weekly time frame we have now a weekly close above previous high and if we look left if we look left here there is nothing anymore to hold as resistance until we reach 75 and 75.50 area. So there is no support, uh, sorry, no resistance on the way. There is a big divergence ongoing, but we do have a structure break, which is more important for me. Daily time frame, we saw a break to the upside out of the range. And um, yeah, I still think uh, oil might continue toward that 75 area now. So it's all about looking for those correction to then look for further upside. So for next week, I still think if we get a correction back toward this uh, previously broken range to look for further upside. Otherwise, if they keep doing these shallow corrections like we had here, we could also do the same. Keep buying those shallow corrections to buy those corrections. You probably need to draw this trend line and follow the um, trend line uh, for now. So if we keep being the same sentiment, which is 
small corrections to the trend line and then further upside that could be uh, one idea or you get a break you look for a short-term uh, correction down toward um, 66 67 area to then look for further upside that is my uh, plan on this one euro usd so <clears throat> the euro usd broke out of the channel broke it down below structure and i was telling my traders to look for a retest and further downside and as for now that is still the case we have around the top here okay we have around the top uh, we had around the bottom on the dixie so here we have the opposite of course and uh, yeah as far as that is the case lower lows lower highs uh, and um, another lower low and another lower high I still that still could be the case that we see further downside but as i said on thursday gonna be an important day so uh, be aware of that uh, i think that we potentially might reach this level here at around 1.20 before any uh, further upside so for now on the lower time frame i think the euro is potentially ready for that uh, bigger move to the downside it is making a nice round the top and i think a retest of 1.20 and then further upside is a, a very potential scenario here on this market sterling not much is happening also making around the top but still holding the range yeah so sterling is still inside the range no break out of the range yet daily time frame checking the four hour you see it clearly we've been like two three weeks inside this range and that is still the case you either play the bounces on the bottom and the top of the range or you wait for a break below or a break above to follow the um, uh, momentum from there so as for now what i have to uh, play here on this market is buying the low selling the high waiting for some kind of a breakout as you see each time we reach the bottom here we've got a nice bounce each time we reach the top we've got a nice bounce to the downside on this market so nothing has changed there keep playing that range until it is broken usd jappy this one was a little bit um uh, uh, a little bit of a, a, a surprise for me because um, after this uh, bullish day on Thursday we were looking for continuation to the upside but on Friday we've got a bearish engulfing candle corrected everything that it made on Thursday all the way back down and uh, on the weekly time frame we do not have a break to the upside yet because we were looking for this and an impulse correction and further upside but we didn't get that and uh, what we have now is an impulse here and potentially correction and one more leg to the downside that's what what it looks like but uh, i think uh, the the uh, situation here is a little bit uh, uncertain again because of this um, momentum we had on friday um, and uh, we should keep an eye on uh, this area here the neckline here 109.20 as a potential support because we may end up going like this inside this consolidation zone now uh, for a um, bit of time so uh, we will um, keep an eye on these levels i think that if we see a break below this area then we have a little bit of a further downside on this market but all in all jappy i still do not see a reason for jappy to get strong and uh, we will wait and see if this is a correction that gonna be broken if this is a bearish flag and this gonna be broken then we might look for a retest of this area down here so uh, also uh, usd jappy a little bit of an uncertainty here we gonna wait for more information before uh, i say something clear about it um, usd chief same scenario we've got this rounded bottom we start looking for potential uh, deeper correction to the upside but even here on friday we've got this uh, bearish uh, candle and checking the weekly we ended up with a spinning top candle here or a doji candle i would say so um, it is slowing down so the bearish momentum is slowing down for sure we've had many uh, big bodied candle here but uh, the last four weeks been a small bodied candle uh, slowing down a little bit and that what make me think that we may see a little bit of a correction to the upside so i'm still um, looking for that scenario as far as there is no break below these lows down here we still could have this rounded bottom to be completed and we start a little bit of a correction to the upside bar. Uh, 
checking the four hour time frame we see that now this here is a key level we've had a break of the neckline so as far as there is no break below previous structures we might still see this um, correction to the upside happening but momentum was a strong uh, move here so we need to be a little bit careful we need to to get more confirmation i mean at least at least i want to see a strong momentum can uh, move here with a little bit of a correction to then start looking for that upside because i will not get stuck in something like a small uh, move here to then see this market doing something like that because we have an impulse we might get a correction and then one more leg to the downside is still possible yeah just because of this huge candle to the downside that's what made me think be careful uh, watch more for confirmation before you go long usd cat nothing new as boring as before still inside the range um, I keep repeating myself on this market and on the Aussies, um, <laughs> Aussie and New Zealand. So, um, yeah, nothing new here, guys. The uh, consolidation is still ongoing. We should uh, wait for a breakout or keep playing the edge of this range. Nothing else to do on this one. Aussie USD, this one broke to the downside, and that was a potential sign that we might uh, move to the further more down so when we've got this break i was telling my guys in our trading room look for a retest of this neckline and then start look for continuation because the trend start looks something like this lower lows lower highs if you if you watch it from all the way here we have this impulse lower high then we start getting consolidation another move to the downside another lower high and another lower low so the structure been bearish on the lower time frame we had the break of this so we had our reason to think that we have a break we look for a retest and then further downside so for next week if they fail to make a new high above this area i'm still thinking the same that we might look for further downside on aussie usd New Zealand USD on the other hand did not break out of the range this market been uh, inside the range for a while and it is still inside that range so here nothing um, to uh, do yet uh, until we see a breakout or if you want to play this because I talked about this for our traders as well that we had this structure with lower highs all the way we got a breakout of this structure uh, of course, uh, this area down here is the bottom of our range and this here is the mid range. So <clears throat> it is not uh, easy to play mid range, but still it's been a structure here that been broken. We've got a retest for next week. I'm looking to see if we're going to get some double top here or something like that or a head and shoulder formation to then look for another leg to the downside and potentially a break lower because Aussie did that break already so maybe the Aussie been the leading market here uh, and uh, New Zealand will also do a break um, uh, after Aussie's uh, break so um, this here for me next week is a level of interest I will watch this area to see if we got a bearish evidence to maybe try and sell uh, something like this here back down to the bottom take some profit and wait to see if it's gonna break further down so that's my plan on new zealand usd for next week and this was <coughs> will be the last chart for uh, this week thanks a lot guys and uh, see you next sunday bye bye